This is a Dragon Blogger video demonstration on how to customize your Google Feed Burner subject titles for your email RSS feeds. The first thing you want to do is log into Google Feed Burner and then click on the RSS feed you want to update. When you get into your RSS feed, you want to click on the Publicize tab at the top. Then over on the left, you'll see the Email Subscriptions selection and a submenu called Email Branding. Once you're in the email branding, you'll see uh, appearance options such as the email subject and title. You'll see a sub uh, checkbox here where it allows you to change the subject when your email has two or more items. So if your blog has more than one article per day or per 24 hour rotation between the next RSS feed update, you may want to have a separate title to note that more than one item is available so that readers know to scroll down in the email to find your additional items or if your blog always produces uh, more than one article in a mailing list feed then you may want to have the number of articles uh, showing up in the subject so readers know how many article updates there are so Google gives you some options and some variables one is the uh, dollar sign open bracket latest item title and close bracket which is basically the title of the most recent uh, article published or if there is only one in your RSS feed, it will just be the title of the uh, one article. You can use that to show like, you know, top 10 Google Chrome applications and then whatever other text you want to have after it. In my case, I do top 10 Google Chrome applications on dragonblogger.com using this statement right here. But then when I have multiple articles that go out one day, I change my subject to be dollar, open bracket, end, close bracket, RSS updates from dragonblogger.com. Now the dollar n is number of total items. So basically they could show that there's five RSS updates from dragonblogger.com in the subject and they know to check for the various articles in the body of the email. Likewise, you can also use dollar m for additional articles. So you can have the latest title plus x more articles if you had four additional articles if you want to always have some sort of title in the subject. I always suggest you customize your uh, RSS email updates with a logo, a nice header logo helps brand your website uh, for people who subscribe via email. You can select your logo URL here. Note that the logo must load from a website. You can't just like upload an image. Make sure your logo is very small in file size, preferably a GIF file or a very low uh, resolution uh, JPEG file so it loads very quickly. You don't want somebody's email to have to load a one megabyte or larger image logo from across the web because then while they're trying to look at their email it could take a long time just to load the header image. So the header, header image should be very small, probably not more than 35k, 10 to 20k would be ideal uh, so that way it could load the image very quickly when the email loads. You get to customize your font sizes and types very easily, background color of your email, I used to do email updates with uh, black backgrounds and white text. I had some readers complain about the usability, especially those with uh, visual uh, issues with colors and, and some people who are colorblind or had visual problems with colors and contrast. So I defaulted to the standard white background, black text, blue links because I want to accommodate uh, anybody who possibly had any sort of visual reading issues. I didn't want to have anybody have an eye strain trying to read the text off of the black background. Even though artistic style looks good, you have to keep what readers will like in mind. Keep it easy on their eyes to read. Make sure the font size is fairly medium. Don't go too small in the font size where you, readers have to strain their eyes just to see. And Just make it generally pleasant and appealing and look at what other trending bloggers are doing. Uh, for the RSS feeds and, and keep it similar just because you know it works and that's why a lot of people emulate the same mechanisms. So again, if you're using FeedBurner to provide email subscription updates to your uh, blog fans, brand your emails, uh, use a custom subject and title, use a separate subject and title if you want to denote whether there's multiple articles in your feed. I'd like to thank Dennis Adell who actually provided me this tip and prompted me to create this tutorial. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.